Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Dead State Reanimated. Okay, we're gonna continue here. We're trying to get into this hardware store where we left off because we need a toolkit and we need supplies to rebuild the fence back at the school. So I'm going to try here to be sneaky. And by sneaky, I mean not get as close as I did last time. That's probably as close as we can get. Okay, let's put Renee over here to kind of back him up, like so. And then, since I have backstab perk, which gives me extra crit, I'm going to kind of hang out, like, right there. All right, Joel. Go up and do what you can, man. Okay, he held her off. Good, good, good. All right, let's try to cripple her. Nope, we missed. Then let's back away and make her use her movement points to come to us. Yep, and you get back there because I don't want that thing attacking you. You're the healer. Uh, let's see, I can go... Let's go right here. Wait her out. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, she. Oh, man. She got him good. That's unfortunate. There we go. She's crippled. There we go. Okay, so just move away. Nay can move away. How many points you got left? Six? Okay, patch him up because he's. Badly off. There we go. Now he's 90. 74 of 90 is his max now. Okay, this thing's crippled, so we don't have to worry about it. And I'll go over here. Let's see. Can I still do stabby stabby and back up? Uh, yeah, I can. All right. Okay, back up. We don't need it to cripple. We can do a basic attack. Oh, come on now. This isn't like super combat squad here. <laughs> That's why it's best if we just like avoid stuff. All right, we're going to do a flurry. Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, hey now. That worked out pretty well. Did we get a crit or something? Or we just did a ton of damage. That was nice. Okay, let's end the combat. Oh, nothing on her. Okay. Okay, let's get the group back together. Oh, that's something to, to note too. If you want to trade with someone... Just kind of right click on them to get this little backpack symbol and then left click to bring that up to transfer things around. When I was first playing, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't figure out how to I couldn't figure out how to transfer stuff. And I was like, this this can't be the case. You gotta be able to move stuff around. Alright, let's see. Wood plank. An unwieldy but effective as a temporary weapon. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got another claw hammer, and we got a screwdriver. Um, okay, well, we'll take that stuff. Okay, now on this, we're going to ungroup, and we're going to send Joel up here. And what I have found to be, at least for me, the best deal is, since I don't have lockpicking yet, um, and this is locked, I gotta break it open. So what I like to do is start a combat round and damage the door and then back up and wait and then see if anything comes. So that's what we're gonna try here. Okay, so we made some noise. I'm gonna back up. Oh, yep, and there we go. So that's the reason you do it. That's probably too close with my guy, actually. Uh, 
Oh, I, I guess I had enough movement or something that I was able to do a reaction type of attack. That was nice. Okay, so... Let's go up here. Let's try to cripple it. There we go. Nice. And... Attack it. Okay, good. And then back up. And then I'm gonna do flurry. Oh, nice, it's done. And he's got some cigarettes. Okay, great. It's a luxury item. Right now, let's go in here. We need to be careful. Toolbox. Yep, that's what we need. So, actually, I think what I'll do is start having him take stuff. That way I can still be the primary looter, so to speak. Oh, we got a ton of supplies there. That was nice. Crowbar. Okay, good. What else in here? Anything? Yep, yeah, something over here. Lantern. And more supplies. What's his strength? Four? Okay. Yeah, and he's got high perception, so he really can. This guy really can do some shooty shooty stuff, huh? Okay. There's me. Here's Renee. So Renee, yeah, medical. She's training to be a, a a vet, actually, when the zombie apocalypse broke out. Survival skills high. That's nice. Mechanical. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna go check things out, kind of on my own. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. <laughs> Joel's gonna go check things out on his own because uh, in the in this game, as long as your main player character is alive, you're 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 okay. If other people die, um, it's unfortunate, but it's it's not a game ender. If your character dies, it is a game ender. So it's best to explore with others. Oh 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 oh. oh. Okay, doesn't know we're here. All right, well, let's see if we can... Darn it. Okay, back up. Okay, let's get out here. So that we can help. It's gonna take too long for me to run around that way, so I guess I'll come here and then get behind her the next turn. Oh, 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 oh! Oh man, he's just, like getting messed up. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> Actually, I'm not that sorry. That's why he's here. Uh, okay. It's not ideal, but we're gonna have to leave him right there. And then we'll have Renee go up and patch him up a little bit again. His health is just going to keep going down. Yep. Okay, and... If I go here, I'll still be able to do... a slash. Alright, let's do that, and hope for a crit. Oh, 13 points. It's wounded. I'll step back one. There we go. Now he can move out of there. She can move over here. Patch him up again. Going through some serious medical supplies on him. And then I'll step forward one. And go for the backstab. Yeah! Okay. That went pretty well.
Okay, now I'll have him continue to loot. Now, I don't remember if there's one in this room or not. So, let's loot everything out here first. Anything there? A hatchet! Hey, that's pretty cool. A machete. Hey. All right, we'll take the building supplies. You do that and grab this stuff. Candles. Screwdriver. Hammer. He's got to be getting full pretty soon, right? Yeah, he's full. Okay. So then we'll have... Rene... Did he pick that screwdriver up? Oh, I, I guess he did. Well, okay. Maybe he's not full yet. Anything else to loot? Yep. Stuff over here. Can't carry that much. Okay, so he is done. We'll have her grab... Nope, not that. We'll have her grab... Uh, maybe the hatchet? Well, she can... Actually, no, I don't want her to grab those, because I'll pick them up myself and see if they're better than what I'm using. She can grab this stuff, though. And I'll grab those weapons and check them out, kind of compare them to what I got. Just take a look real quick, shall we? Okay, so the combat knife, which I like with that kind of flurry attack, and it, and it goes well with my perks, right? Because I've got that, that plus 15% crit when I'm doing stabby stabby from the back. But that seems to do a ton of damage, and even though it's a 50%, uh, you know, undead damage mod, with the flurry, it seems pretty solid. question is, what do you get with these? And I don't know of a way to check the special abilities until you've actually used it in combat. So 100% with the axe, 60%. 10% crit chance times 3 damage with a hatchet if you get a deal 2.25 with a machete okay let's try the machete basic oh it has a flurry also all right well let's set this as active and we will check that out that might be good plus come on now really Look how cool that looks. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just walking around with the machete people. Feeling a little bit, you know, BA. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay, let's get back on task here, Mal. <laughs> okay, let's check this door. Yeah, okay. So, if I break this thing down... There... we know that there's... We know that over... where? Here there's some that could come to us, and there might be one in here, but I think it's worth the risk. Okay, now, I'm gonna stop combat, and I'm gonna wait. Yep, yeah, just gonna wait a bit. Nothing came over to us. Alright. Start it back up. Wow, still haven't gotten in that door. That's a serious door. Oh, okay. Seems like we're alright. Sledgehammer. Though the head of this weapon is rubber and perhaps not as dense as one might like, this hammer nonetheless offers tremendous power. Oh, it's a knockback weapon. Hey, that's kind of cool. Acquired strength six. Okay, well, we don't have anybody that can use that yet, but... That's pretty nice. Oh, was there a lockpick in there, too? 
Okay, I'll go grab that stuff then. Okay, let's group everyone else back together. Yeah, there's certainly other stuff that we could get here, so... I think it's worth the risk. Whoa, hey now, hold on. A dead looter. Hmm. That could be a little bit more dangerous. Okay, let's... You know what? I'm gonna go out until he sees me. Yep. Uh-huh. Hi. Okay, we'll set up right here in the turn. You set up right here in your turn. And then I'm pretty fast, right? So I'm just going to move away. And let him come in. There you go, welcome, hi! Guess I should have been a little bit further back, but we're okay. Okay, nice. And back up. She's not so good at the combat. No, but that's okay. The rest of us seem to be holding our own here. I think we could do a basic attack. All right. Almost dead. Okay, back up. Switch this to a basic attack. Move in. Missed. All right, then... Back up. Does she heal herself? She can, right? Yeah. Just trying to remember. I was playing this off and on for a while, then I stopped, and so... I'm a little rusty. Just a bit. Not bad. Guess we can move a little closer. There's no harm in that. In the turn. Okay, now we should be able to do, like, a cool... Flurry attack. Oh, I guess it wasn't necessary. <laughs> All right, nice. An arrow. All right. Now I have mechanical skill. Lock picking ability. I don't know if that unlocks at the next deal or if I already have the ability to do it. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. That place looks boarded up. Did it have any way in? Uh, I think this is just like a prop. I don't think you can actually go in there. There's also cool little details on places, like for instance this, the X with the information. So the date, you know, how many were dead, you know, yeah, like two dead bodies were found. Um, this is basically how the military will clear, this is how they'll clear a building and give status information to other responders. I, I Little details like that are really cool. Anything over here to grab? Let's check in. Okay. Okay, three of them, huh? There's stuff in the police car. I'm probably gonna want, right? Hmm. This might be a situation where we actually use the ranged weapon. Yeah, I think so, because we want to draw them to us. But it's risky. Especially risky since... I'm playing on Iron Man mode. 
which hindsight be in 2020? Maybe I should have done, I don't know. Certainly means I'm playing for keeps here. You sick people. You want me stressed out. <laughs> I know I know the truth. I know the truth of things. Alright, well either way, this will bring them to us. I need to be closer in, actually. And so does she. So we'll do it like this. We'll start the fight. Okay, we got no chance to hit? Really? Too far away, I guess, huh? But the noise will bring them. Yep, 25 decibels. Okay. There they come. Well, oh, geez. They moved awfully far. Alright. Yeah, well, I'll deal with you guys in a second. They're on top of each other. That's interesting. I didn't know that was possible. That seems like an error to me. Yeah, here we go. Set that active. And... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Ripple, hopefully this one. Yes, nice. And I'm sort of stuck there with him. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have put my guy there. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to go with that. That's all she has is basic attack, huh? All right, I'll go back here then. Almost dead. Okay, now I'm gonna go behind these guys with my character and do a flurry. Then back up. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, not not Joel. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Got back up. I guess? Looks like it. Alright. There we go. She's done. Then we'll head over here. No, oh, not enough AP. Okay. Almost dead. Set active. Do stabby stabby with the knife. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was risky. Probably should have done that, but... <laughs> it was exciting. <laughs> okay. Gets a temporary plus two to his perception when his panic is at 50% or more, right? Okay. Doesn't have that. It doesn't seem to have any other status effects, so that's good. What's my <clears throat> AC one? Okay. Let's loot these guys. Cigarettes. Nothing. The woman. Uh, arrow. All right. Oh, gasoline. Yep, so that was definitely worth it. Okay, let's switch to individual mode. Guys. Check it out, Joel. Of 
around this way. And Renee, you stick with him. I'll go just check it out right back here. Hmm, locked, huh? Mechanical skills too low to pick this lock. Oh. Womp womp. Alright, well. I guess we could break in back here. Because there's clearly some stuff here. So let's. I want to get that. Alright. Well, let's bring everyone back around here then. We'll set up for a fight. Set this as our active weapon. Set up like this, maybe? Put her here. Renee can be like right here. No, no, not exactly. Like that. That looks good. Okay, Joel. Let's smack this thing, man. Okay, there's somebody. Oh, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Okay, I'll move over here. Yeah, let's back up here a little bit. Let Cindy come to us. So this tactic works well until you've got ranged combatants that you have to deal with, and then not so much, right? She's badly wounded. Alright, let's go up and do a flurry. Oh my god, we just... I think I'm going to be sick. Well, what? She came up to us. She's not somebody that's not, she's not friendly. And now she's undamaged. That doesn't make much sense. Oh, right. Now, now she's undead. Okay. Well. Let's move here. Man, she's pretty tough to hit. Get off of me. Smacky, smacky. So she's slightly wounded. Um, alright. Set this active. Wow, that's a lot of hits missing. Okay, let's try to cripple her. There we go. And let's just back up. Yep, back away. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up here for a turn. And switch this to Wild Swing. Okay, so she's really dead now, I think. <laughs> or just mostly dead. Which is it? Yes, uh, I don't know if we could recruit her or... I'm thinking no. 
But killing people does affect morale, so we'll find out when I do my daily summary if that was a bad kill or not. But if somebody's trying to kill you, what are you supposed to do? Like, oh no, it's okay. I mean, we're peaceful. No, no, no. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, come here, Joel. Get back in position. I'll hang out right there. Okay, let's step in here. What? Did we do all this for no loot? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, come on now. Would have been upset. No, it said there was a shelf. What's the deal? she not see it because she's not in there? All right, let's, there we go. Guess that made sense. Box o pasta and sugar. Okay, take those. Anything else to grab? Nope. Uh, over here, what about... No, oh, it's a jukebox. Nothing else in here? Okay. Let's grab everyone and head out over here, then. Doesn't look like there's anything to loot from that truck. I'm not seeing... anything else of value. Okay, well, let's head to the transition, then. And I think I'll head back. I mean, it's only 10 a.m., but... Uh, best to get back and start working on that fence, I think. Apple trees, nice. You want to start? You want to start harvesting? Yes. Okay, leave. Nice. That was a good find, huh? Okay, your allies transferred the following items into storage. Special items, two. Following resources, 13 food, 14 fresh food, fuel, luxury items, parts. Glad you made it back. I can only imagine what it's like out there. Looks like you brought everyone back. That's the first good news we've had in a while. We've been keeping supplies in the back room near the basement. If you have parts for the fence, you should put them on the shelf. I'll organize everything for the repairs. We've managed to secure the, the school interior. It'll hold for tonight, but we'll all sleep a lot more soundly with that fences up. You must be tired. We set about upstairs for you. Yep. Okay, now. Let's see. Is the work board up yet? No, it's not. So starting on the next day, it'll actually be that assignment work board over here. And we'll be able to tell people to work on the fence and whatnot. Want to make sure. Yeah. It's not up yet. Okay. Let's go put those supplies away. Man, I like my machete. Thing worked pretty well. Let's see. Arrow can go over there. Um. Yeah, those knives can go. 
Uh, I'll keep the energy drinks. I don't need that. Or that. Need this. I don't need the med kit for now. Actually, I'll hold on to this. So I can refill her med kit. Okay, so toolbox. Got all this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna stock that into the inventory for the shelter. Huh? Well, I guess it'll do it automatically, or it already has. Okay. Oh, select all and stock. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, she said she's going to handle it. I'll let her do that then. Let's go upstairs. Now, I do have fuel. So is the generator on by default? I remember it saying something about you could auto set or what have you, but let's go downstairs real quick. I want to double check the generator. Turning off the automatic settings will prevent upgrades that rely from running tomorrow. Okay, so I'll just say no. All right. Well, we have fuel. Let's go upstairs and get our summary. Here. Take us a little nappy. Go to bed. Yes. All right, so we gained fresh food, 14, preserved food, 46, consumed 18, so morale bonus, luxury items, 31, ally negotiation skill bonus, 5, likable characters, 5, and then we found food that gave us 20, we found parts greater than 30, which gave us 10, working toilets, working generator bonus. Morale penalties, allies with a good mood, content, we've got one that's unhappy, fence broken, it's minus 200. But that we'll be able to fix tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we didn't need any antibiotics, fuel used today, four. Wow, fuel remaining eight. And that goes quick. Jeez. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please consider hitting the thumbs up. As always, I look forward to your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.